Welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Sarah Bernard, and joining me now is Jennifer Millward, Project Manager of Synergy Productions, and Eric Brenner, who's the Executive Chef and General Manager of Alumni St. Louis, which is a new restaurant in town. Fairly new. We're going to talk more about your history in just a minute. But Jennifer, um, Downtown Restaurant Week, it's mm -hmm. right around the corner. It's right around the corner. The ninth annual, so we're really excited about that. Ninth annual. Yes. So, and it's coming up in August. It is. August 19th through the 25th, the entire week. Okay, so it's seven days. Mm -hmm. Is that seven days? That's almost seven yes. days. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Great. So, tell us a little bit about, I know it's been around nine years, you mm -hmm. said. Tell us a little bit about what we can expect. Yeah. So, basically, in a nutshell, Downtown Restaurant Week um, is composed of 27 restaurants this year, so we're excited about that. Is that uh, more than in the past? It is. It is. It's a record year, so... Um, yeah, we're excited about that. So each one has actually come up with their own three-course menu, and they will be offering it the entire week for a fixed price of $25. Wow. So that's definitely a special treat considering some of the restaurants that are participating. Yeah. So is that generally a lower average price than what these restaurants Absolutely. offer? Absolutely. You know, like I said, some of the restaurants that are participating, you could never go in and get a three-course meal for $25. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. yeah, so do, when you go into these restaurants, and Eric, maybe I should direct this one to you, this question to you, are, are there a choice of, of menus for the $25 uh, fixed price, or is there just one? Well, I, th I think most restaurants will probably run uh, that, that $25. More people will be coming in for that, but our, like our, for our restaurant, you can eat for $25 or on any day. Okay. So uh, we will also have our menu, because we want to expose people to the restaurant and to the menu, and that's really the goal, too, is to expose people to downtown St. Louis mm -hmm. and get everybody to understand how great and diverse the, the offerings are there. Yeah. And Jennifer, in the, over the history of the nine years, have you found that people are staying downtown who work downtown, they're staying for dinner, or are people coming in from the county? What's it like downtown that week? Yeah, it's absolutely a complete mixture. You know, so we definitely want to attract people to come downtown because we want people to realize what kind of restaurants are there. There are so many fine dining establishments, and so it's a, you know, a great way to escape downtown or you know rediscover a new favorite so mm -hmm. it's a it's a big mixture of people yeah but it's busy downtown that week I it would is imagine. it's yes. slammed and i was actually talking to eric earlier and a lot of the restaurants are already filling up with reservations really yes. oh yes. get those reservations in so how get can people in. make do you call the restaurants directly or is it through the website yeah well you have some options there um we have all the restaurants listed on our website um, we have all their phone numbers, addresses, their menus are on there. You can make online reservations, or you can call directly and just simply say that, you know, we want to dine for Downtown Restaurant Week, and then they can accommodate you that way. Okay, so all the menus are on the website right mm -hmm. now, and I was looking at some of, you've got some great restaurants. Yes. You've got Anthony's, you've mm -hmm. got Alumni St. Louis Eric's Restaurant, mm -hmm. Mosaic, Robust, lots of the tried and true and some new restaurants as well. Yes, we have some new ones this year. Some brand new restaurants, actually not just new to Restaurant Week, but Like Alumni is brand new and it's their first year, so we're excited to have them. Um, Takaya's brand new, uh, Robust is new, so we're excited to have those on board. Mm -hmm. so, um, so starting on August 19th yes. to the 25th, and there's a charity tie-in, so tell us there about is. that. Um, so Operation Food Search is our charity partner. Um, so at the end of each meal, patrons actually have the option of donating in $5 increments directly to the charity. Okay, so, so that's given us an option, but the $25 goes to the restaurants. Yes, that goes okay. directly to the restaurants. Okay, good. So what kinds of, of food can we expect to find downtown that week? Obviously, we've listed some of the restaurants, but what are some of the cuisines? Oh, it's all, all different types. American, steakhouse is Italian. Um, Peruvian. I mean, it's it's all over. Yeah. So. And I know Eric's got some of his d dishes. We're going to talk about this in the next segment because mm -hmm. I want to. It smells great. <laughs> you got some of your favorites. So um, we're going to take a break right now. When we come back, we're going to hear more about Alumni St. Louis and some of the other restaurants that are be going to be participating in uh, Downtown Restaurant Week uh, this year. We'll be right back with more from Jennifer Millward and Eric Brenner. So keep it right here on STL TV.